come on in. I got my tea. Have you got your tea? Oh, it's a cup. Oh, it's warm. It's lovely. I'm going to have to bring me a spoon in here. I can tell that already. I'm going to have to have a spoon to stir my tea. There's Lizzie. Come on in, folks. It's a nasty day here. We've been trying to decide where we're going to dinner. And it may be hot tea at Mexican. Yep, I wish you could smell this tea. And if you've got some like Mark, if you've got our Body Clutter Wise Women's Tea, oh my, you're having a, oh, an amazing experience. Tuesday tea time. Come on in. Been busy all day long. It just hasn't stopped. And so I am, I am ready to take a break. And now what tea time's all about? Just taking a break. There's my brother-in-law and my sister. Anyway, folks, get on in here. Use the rub scrub. <laughs> Stir my tea. I'm going to get me a little spoon to put in here. At Duke with baby sister. Oh my. Anyway. Breaks are definitely important. So come on in everybody. We'll get about 200 people in here. And it's really more like 2,000. But it ends up being about 20,000 before we're over with. So let's drink up. I've got my baby Jesus cup. I got this in St. Augustine. Florida. Yep. Oh, that's good. So I'm going to dig around. I'm going to root around in my basket and see if I can get a topic here. For some reason, I like little ones. Maybe that's reminiscent of, of um, baby steps. And I have a topic. Yep. Yeah, come on in. Mm. I'm really enjoying my tea this afternoon. My new uh, bar stool here is out of microfiber. And it's hard to get in my chair. I think I need a step ladder. I need a step stool to use to get in my chair. Because it's... It's kind of, I can't slide. Yeah, my shoes are still on. It's no sliding. Maybe I'll put a plastic cover over the top of it where I could slide in. But then I'd probably slide out of the chair. So come on in here. Our topic today, for those of you who want to know, is leading by example. Yep, I wouldn't be much of a fly lady if I wasn't dressed to lace up shoes. I wouldn't be much of a fly lady if um, my house was a disaster. I wouldn't be much of a fly lady if I had a messy bathroom. But I have a clean house. I have, I, I work every day, sometimes 16 hours a day, but I still get things done. And you know how I still get things done? I use a timer. And I set the timer for two minutes and I get up and do something. Our watches tell us to get up off our butts and do something. So when I get up out of my chair, when my watch tells me it's time to stand, then I get up and I do something. And it's, it's continual all day long. And I am leading by example. And... <sighs> That's one of the fun ways that we can get our acts together is if we'll get a buddy. Because if you've got a buddy, you don't want to let your buddy down. It's like in AA, they have a sponsor. Well, when you can be the new, when you can be a, sort of a, a fly lady sponsor to somebody, you both join up and you, you help one another, that's a wonderful way to get your home in order. 
because we all need encouragement. And now with the, the phones and the AirPods and all the things, I mean, we're talking about putting together a curriculum for Fly Lady, even though I'm talking to you every single day, putting together a curriculum that people will want to will want to binge. Can you imagine binge watching like you do um, HGTV, but you're binge watching how to learn how to get your house in order? It for me. I used to didn't think binge watching it wasn't even a thing when we first started. People wanted to binge read all of our emails and I said it where they couldn't because that they would just sit and read and read and read. But with the, if we did a series of videos, educational videos, then it might be a way to get some fly washing in that brain of yours. And if I can get in your head, because I did this with, um, with Rita Davenport's takes in 1988, I learned how to take care of me. Yeah, it was wonderful. And I would listen to them over and over and over again till I wore them out, wore them out. So. People were saying they would love that. Well, you can binge watch our YouTube videos, but they're kind they're kind of timely to what's happening today and that sort of thing. And I talk about family a lot. I want to keep them a little more generic, but I think it'll be fun. I like to binge on YouTube videos. I really do. It's it's a lot of fun, and having. Some step-by-step -step instructions. We have that in our book. Let me find it. This is our baby step book, the Chaos Clean Book. It sort of gives you the immersion into Fly Lady. We've done this book. We do it every time of the month. We'll probably do it again in March. We'll go through the baby steps again because March has 31 days. And it fits. That's a perfectionist in me. I understand I have a perfectionism problem. My name's Marla and I'm a perfectionist. But guess what? I don't have to push my perfectionism on you. If we did the baby steps in February, there'd be only 29 days <laughs> and we'd have to run over into March. Guess what? That's okay too. So I'm leading by example by letting you know that I'm a perfectionist. But if I could get organized, Anybody can. I'm telling you, if I could get organized, any of you can. So this, this is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. So folks, think about, I mean, we talked about menu planning at, at our morning show. Yeah, the hoarder show makes me sad too. But when we actually do menu planning, you put it into action, it's amazing. It is amazing. So keep in mind that your example, you're setting that example for your children. And let me tell you how you can do that. Put the book put that back there. Let me get this. When your children see you use a calendar, when they see you use a calendar, when they see you write things on your calendar, you're leading by example. So let me get February up here. It's February the 18th. 18th. We check our calendars in the we check them in the morning we check them in the first thing in the afternoon and we check it before bed and when you do that you kind of keep in your mind what's happening what's happening so check in your calendar we sell the best calendar in the world it's 12.95 right now it's on a flash sale 12.95 Get your calendar. Get the sticker kits with it. And 
and make your calendar fun because if you make it fun, your kids are going to love looking at it and everything. And I can't stand it when my hair does that. Okay, that's better. See, I have perfectionism issues. And I got something sticking out over here. I don't know what's going on there, but hey. There once was a little girl who had a little curl, and I got a little curl going right there, and I've never had a curl in my life. So, folks, <laughs> let's set the example. And we do it in love, not in an I'll show you mode. It, we do it with love. And when we do it in love, we can... <sighs> We can lead the world to a better way to live. Buy the little calendar to have it in the car. But you got to remember to sync the calendars. If you don't sync your calendars, you're going to be in bad shape. But you could get a calendar just for menu planning with them on sale right now. And I need help with something, folks. See, our, our little calendar is just like our big calendar. How cool is that? So it's easy to sync it. Sync your calendar. This could be your menu planning calendar. Yep, a menu plan on a mini calendar in your purse. It's a wonderful thing. So here's to drinking up. Mm, mm, mm. So it's plan and play day, enjoying this day, and I need your help on something. I really do need your help. We sync our calendars on on Sunday. Sunday night is, is when Robert and I compare our calendars as to what's going on. But now that he's not working outside the home, I don't really need to know where he is every day because he's home. <laughs> he's in the yard somewhere. He is... Um, as he just got through doing, he had a little window and he dug up a stump. He's been digging on that stump for several days and he finally got it up. So let's sync our calendars, but I need your help on something. We're spam copped again. So I need you to send me a testimonial, reply to any email you've, re you've gotten, sign up for emails if you haven't signed up yet, and... <clears throat> Let's us, we've got to tell these IPs out there, internet providers, that you want our messages. You want our messages. So please do it. Please do it. Send us a testimony. I love your testimonials. They make me so happy. I read them before I go to bed at night. I read them before I go to bed at night. Ben's sending me pictures. He doesn't know I'm on a show again. Anyway, he's been a big boy today. He's uh, He had to go rent a U-Haul and go get a pallet load of stuff. And he's probably filled the house up with stuff. So, <laughs> so send me a testimonial about how the system works for you. How getting clutter out of your life. Uh, put in the subject line testimonial and send it to flylady at flylady.net about the water bottles they can hold hot things and cold things but if you put hot things in here you need to pour it in a cup so you'll know how hot it is because just don't put your lips to that you'd have hot lips so ben has been busy he's been up and at him he got the rental truck before nine o'clock went and got a bag of fluids and potassium and he was on his way to getting things done today. The young man is working hard. But we're leading by example. Your children know how to use a calendar because they see you use a calendar. Leading by example. Your children see you make your bed. Teach them how to make their beds. Leading by example, swishing and swiping in, in the uh, bathroom every day. Lead by example. You can do it. You really can. And it's going to change your life. He was feeling pretty bad yesterday. So 
So folks, 18 minutes after, I try to keep it around 15 minutes. I love you all and I will talk to you later. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So send us a testimonial, reply to one of my emails. Let's blow up Sister Patty's uh, email and mine. But reply to something so the IP knows that you love us. Yes. that you, And put us in your address book, flylady at flylady.net. Please. We're all examples. Yes, we are. Whether we want to be or not. We're either examples for the good or examples for the bad. I choose to be an example for the good. I'm leading all of you by example. Except I don't have any lipstick on. <laughs> I love you all. I'll see you later. Go wipe down some doorknobs and some light switches. Because germs are everywhere. See you later.